This is William from Psycho Network. Yeah, I'm sure, pretty sure it's maybe a little bit like too green or something. Uh, uh, but I guess everybody in crypto love green. Uh, it's rising up. So I'm really excited and happy to introduce the trustless network of all blockchain, Psycho Network. Uh, so how many people here today have ever built or trying to build any kinds of de-applications? Please raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. It's not the wrong place. It's Builder Week, yes. And how many other people like you have ever like tried to interrupt with any kinds of D applications before? Yeah, yeah. So what happened to the rest? You guys come from the future or something? You know, it's the future, right? Okay. So I guess everybody knows the user dilemma problem. Thanks. Yeah, it's sometimes unsafe, expensive, yeah, not even about the latency problem, and it's even complicated, not for just for develop developers, but also for the general users. Imagine this kind of situation, like uh, for you know, ETH user, he or she trying to find some, like maybe interesting uh, on Arbitrum, there was kind of like a DM over there, and after he or she interacted with the application, he found out maybe there are kind of some like a profitable, you know, BMB apps over there. So here is what he's going to do, like this. And you can see the cost fee, like take like two times of ETH gas fee, plus four times Arbitrum gas fee, and two times BNB gas fee. Expensive. No matter about the latency problem, because you might miss your chance about the profitable things, right? And even the most of the parts, unsafe. Because bridging after bridge after bridge, we all know the bridge problem right now. It's not safe. And for the guys who are the developers, you guys are facing different smart contracts with different blockchains. And of course, the different liquidity. Because you are trying to deploy the liquidity on each different kind of chains, which will separate you. And now, we cycle. The user we mentioned, he only need to pay, yes, master fee. We call it master fee two times. One is to the option one, application one, and the other for the number two. And for developers, you can only need to deploy all links at one time. And the cycle will help you to reach all of the Web3 users. So what exactly is Cycle Network? Here is the Cycle Network overview. Cycle Network uses the Omni-State Channel Indexer and the Trustless Cross-Chain Protocols to build the Omni-Distributed Ledger, which help us to focus on the dApps and to accelerate to acquire more users from both Web3 and Web2 areas. As you can see, there are three layers here. The bottom layer here we call security layer. Actually, because we originally inheriting the ETH secret, because we extend the DA here to the extended layers, to OP, Polygon, Solana, whatever you name it. And we use the bridge here, but we put the bridge here, but it's not really bridge, because we use the original L1 to L2 ZK rollup to deal with that. And we put ledgers on each chain. So, that we put the omni-state omni channel indexer, which is the decentralized indexer, on ETH. And after that, on the cycle layer, we put the decentralized sequencer to make this happen. And to link the extended layer, we build up the trustless cross-chain protocol here. Well, the details you can check on the white paper, but it's probably the overview of the, everything. So one word, cycle now. It's a trustless omni distributed ledger with a global state view of all blockchains. The core benefits are four sides. The most important thing is security, because we maximally inheriting the data security from ETH. And then, because the omni ZK rule for real time extend chain communications, we make it really low latency. And it's, of course, it's going to be low cost because we leverage that by using the rule to extend DA and ODLT. And this helps all of us can do the cross 
ecosystem things, including the EVM, non-EVM, L2, etc. So when we try to compare with you know, the similar products like Zetagen, layer zero protocol, Omni network, Cycle network is a trustless network of all blockchains with original L1 to L2 bridge, or the roll up, uh, and the extended DA, which bring us the only trustless cross chain with the highest security here. So what exactly kind of like the products and the service Cycle network bring to us? We actually have two kinds of service here. One we call the standard omnichain interoperability network, which will help you to provide the assets management, super accounts, assets liquidity channels, and one click deployment of the EVM compatible DApps, and one click assets launch. Of course, we offering the customized ones. Uh, it's the, we call it omnichain at the service. Should we pronounce that OIST or OWS or whatever, yeah. It's a customized feature and even pricing models of the Omnichain network. And we link by the ROI and the ROI SDK to the basic network. The whole picture supports the D app in games, finance, socials, and tech accessories. And then for the service we're offering for everyone here, you can enjoy the self custody, aggregation, Omni, you know, asset trading. And you can you can enjoy just one click login to upgrade the Omnichain D apps by using our super account. And for developers, one click Omnichain assets launch and a customized version and aggregation for any kinds of Omni D apps. And also, of course, for the DeFi assets, we and withdraw the system. For ecosystem, this will help all kinds of ecosystem acquire more like Omnichain users, and to you know, help them with the assets, liquidity pool. And also, we can also try to partner with you know, different kind of chains, uh, eco opportunity to set up even the Omnichain application incubation fund built together. Yeah. So here is a case study, the case one. We call it Omnichain Piggy Bank, which is focusing on the retail assets management. Like Cycle's microfunding aggregation protocol enables users to merge the small funds from all kinds of layers, like layer one, layer twos. Yeah, before, uh, just like coins in sofas, like we got all kinds of like shit coins or altcoins on different blockchains. And sometimes you want to transfer it or maybe like try to sw swap it into maybe some mainstream token or something, but the gas fee is like too high, too high, like higher than the cost. So we just uh, leave it alone or something. But right now, you just, the user just one click to extend that to the certain Martin mainstream token. And the sweeper bot system will try to find the you know, best price. Uh, and maybe in the future, I think it's really falling, right? Yeah, in the falling step, we are going to upgrade that into a super cons. And the next case is about Omnichain stable coin solution. AUSD, yeah, stable coins always, you know, exist in the crypto areas. Um, well, it's actually for the stable coins, not nothing special, you know, at first or something. But the really unique part is like because we help them to deal with the liquidity part, like we help them to, you know, no need to worry about like the liquidity put on the maybe the emerging L2s or new ecosystems, and even. Also, like a friendly to those kind of like L2s or emerging like ecosystems, so that they don't need to like you know set up like new liquidity pool or everything on each chain. They only need to like focusing on their own products, yeah, to build up like their like scheme, make it st stability or things like that. And the third case here today is LTP, one of our like partner here. Uh, it's about like a uh, cross ecosystem omnichain liquidity solution. For LTP, yeah, it's a gateway to CFI and DeFi, which is aiming to maximize the capital efficiency for institutions. So before the LTP is trying to, uh, of course, they're already like linked to the SACs already, and they try to you know, get in, uh, uh, 
get connections to different decks. Uh, before, you know, you, you, they have to you know, connect it one by one, so which means like they have the separate liquidity, uh, which is okay, but it's not efficiency even for the institutional fund. So now we cycle. They have the integrated liquidity, so we help them to you know link all the decks to make it happen. Uh, last but not least, we don't forget the the biggest blockchain here, BTC. Here we got the uh, BTC bot. The BTC bot is now focusing on BRC20, and they do the you know auto cyber like a flash main. They do it really well, and they, they can find the smart money and do the, even do the copy trading. But I think. That's a limitation or something. It's just to focus on the you know BRC20 or something. So we cycle in the near future. It will expand the scenarios to the omni chain, like the BTC bot will tend to be like a omni chain bot. Yeah, I'm sure there will be like more scenarios like omni trading, like about like a prediction market, and even there was a guy like it from maybe. Some other like protocol, they're doing AI parts. Uh, it's it's also like a big ch a chance to merge those like new tags and to lower the barrier. Okay, I think that's pretty much about everything. And uh, here's the context of me. Uh, uh, we also have our like uh, uh, the in the, during the main event, our booth is like 308. Please feel free to come to us and. Just say hi and try to see what happened. Huh? And right now, we also have our online um, marketing campaign because we already launched our test net. And uh, we're about to launch out the news about the first round fundraising as well. Okay, thank you, everybody. Have a nice day.